What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, like, I'm, I'm sick. <laughs> but I have been like really slacking with making videos and everything, which sucks because I have so many videos planned out, but then life gets in the way and then I'm like, no, it's okay, I'll do it like later. And then this was my later and I ended up getting sick. But I really want to do this video because it is Chinese New Year's and I got something for Chinese New Year's for a video, so I'm like, I gotta do this, I gotta get this done, like, seriously. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started again. I apologize for my voice, and I will probably be eating cough drops throughout this video, so I apologize for this, but seriously, guys, like, being sick right now, sick and pregnant sucks like ugh, I did not know this but the only thing that I'm like restricted to have is Tylenol and I'm just like what the hell is Tylenol gonna do for me like, it sucks but let us go ahead and get started on this video I got something from Colourpop it is right over here um, I did buy it with my own money. I am not on a PR or anything like that. All products that I'm using right as of now, it is not PR. It is bought with my own money, but I wouldn't mind getting like a little bit of something something, you know, because this makeup life is not cheap. So <laughs> it's fine. I love makeup anyway, and whether or not I am on a PR or anything like that, I will buy it. It's just... I can assume PR has saved like a ton of money, so just saying. So let's go ahead and open it. As always, it is nicely protected with some bubble wrap, which is good. I love how they give you like little cute cards like this. I love them so much. Light up my world. And it has cute little butterflies. Aww. That's kind of like my new um, background thingy that I did. It actually matches. I didn't plan that. Because it is Chinese New Year's, I got the collection that they did for the Chinese New Year's Year of the Rat, which are right here. Um, so with in this collection, you get um, two Lux lip, or no, I'm sorry, not two, three lipsticks, three lipsticks, a white tea face milk and then you get the duo pack of the cheeks so one is a highlighter the other one is a blush I don't know if they did this for year of the pig I'm actually year of the pig not year of the rat when it was last year they were all like oh my god you're gonna be so lucky this year because you're year of the pig I feel like I had the worst luck in my life last year like Everything kept crashing down. It was such a bad year. Like, not to, like, get personal or anything, you guys, but, like, from the end of 2018 till all of 2019, it was an emotional roller coaster ride. 2018 ended with a death of our, our beloved um, cousin, and then, like, my mom was also, we also found out my mom had lung cancer, never smoked a day in her life, she just got it, and it was stage four, and then, like, and then, you know, we were literally going through one whole year of her going through it, and then she passes away, so it was, and then I find out, like, during the time of when she was on her deathbed that I got, that I'm pregnant. So it was like, kid you not, you guys, an emotional roller coaster ride of craziness. I was like, I was like, how is this my year again? Please explain that to me. Like, what? I don't know. Crazy things happen and everything like that. So I guess I was researching about year of the rat and they said that this is a time of renewal. When I looked into the horoscopes, 2019 for Year of the Pig was going to be a hard year. So I was like, whoever said that my year was going to be amazing because I'm Year of the Pig and it's Year of the Pig, they lied. Like, seriously. But anyway, let us go ahead and look at these up close and personal. The fiance just dropped off a drink for me. Yay! It's from 
um, a place called Zero Degrees. This is an ube milkshake with um, cookies and cream. So I never tried it before, but it looked good on the menu. So I told them to get it for me. Let's try it. Mm -mm. It's not bad. Mm, I kind of like it. So I never tried Fourth Ray Beauty's um, face, face stuff before. I always wanted to see what they were about. So let's read about it. It is, this white tea face milk is a lightweight moisture booster that softens and hydrates skin, formulated with white tea, rice milk, and hy hydroloric, loric, lorinic. Babe, how do you say this word? Huh? How do you say that word? <sighs> Which one? That word. Hydroloric? Hyal hyal hyaluronic. 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 Okay. Hyaluronic. Hyaluronic. Okay. So rice milk and high hy... mm. <laughs> hyaluronic acid to replenish moisture for healthy looking complexion. Hi, Blinky. My dog's in here. So if you hear little patters, it's my dog. <laughs> but so what you do is. Apply two to three drops into the palms, warm between your hands, and gently press into skin. Use as needed. It is safe for all skin types. Dermatologist tested, 100% cruelty free, vegan, paraben, and gluten free. Rice milk is supposed to support and enhance skin softness. White tea is known for antioxidant properties. And then the hyaluronic acid is known to deeply quench skin with vital hydration by attracting and binding water within the skin surface. What, buddy? Come here. This is my baby. This is my little baby. This is my bleachy. I call him bleach because he has white spots on his dark fur. Here is what the white tea um, face milk looks like. And I want to smell it. Do I, is there like a film? No. Okay. Can't even smell, so I don't even know what I'm going to try. Oh, okay. Mm, doesn't smell. Doesn't have like a significant smell, but it doesn't smell bad either. Consistency. Kind of looks like the thing that got me pregnant, but. Uh, bad joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My dog's right next to me now. Okay. So then let's go ahead and look at the Super Shock Cheek Duo, which is right over here. I love the packaging that they did. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. So this is the this this color is called Drop of a Hat, and then the highlighter is called Goody to Shoe. Haha, <laughs> it's they spelled shoe as S H U. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. I never tried their cheek one before. I tried their highlighter, but not their cheek. So let's feel it. Oh, it's soft. It's so soft. Ooh. And it's very, very creamy. Let me show you guys the little design on there. Very, very pretty. Excuse my ugly nails. <sighs> Excuse my ugly nails, you guys. Like, my nails are, like, ridiculously, like, crazy right now. And then their highlighter, it's kind of like a, it's gold, which I love. I personally am a big fan of gold um, highlighters. Um, I think it looks really good with my looks really really nice on my complexion and everything So I always aim for like the gold um, Highlighters compared to like the silvers and all those Let's go ahead and look at the um, Lips the lipsticks. This is so it comes in three Ooh, Okay 
is what they look like. They're very pretty. I never tried their Lux lipsticks before, so this is going to be very interesting. I tried all like the other um, lipsticks before, but I never tried this one. So, so I'm kind of curious to see how the formula is for this one. So that's pretty exciting. These boxes are really cute though. Like, oh, let's do a makeup look while we're at it. So I'm gonna go put on my cat ears right now. He's so cute. Oh, my hair's so thick. For my makeup today, I decided that I kind of wanted to do pretty light makeup like how they do it in Asia where they kind of stick with more on the pinks and the corals and all those pretty colors. Um, I'm not going to try making it too um, too dark or anything or too glamorous. Pretty natural like how they usually do. I'm not going to do that whole entire taping one though and all the aesthetic stuff. So, um, but that's way too much work. So we're not doing that. So let's go ahead and try this white tea face milk. Okay, so they said apply two to three drops. So I'll do three. I'll do like one, two, three. Okay. Let's massage it in. Hmm. It actually spreads really nicely. Okay, that's not bad. I actually like how it spreads really well. Hmm. Yeah, I think like three drops for me wasn't actually that bad. It's actually not bad at all. But I kind of want to get my neck too, so I'm going to apply some more. Okay, I'm kind of starting to smell the fragrance a little bit it's actually not that strong it's very light it's very refreshing it's kind of like not sticky or anything not but it's light it's kind of like it's as light as my regular face um, my face lotion, the Garnier face lotion, it's pretty, like, just as light as that. Too bad it doesn't have SPF, though. I wouldn't mind using this as, like, a regular moisturizer, you know, if it had SPF, but it's fine. I mean, my I have foundation that has SPF, but the, it's only, you know, SPF 18, it's so it's not really strong. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my foundation. My foundation has not changed. It is still the Maybelline Dewy Smooth in the shade 210. And then for my concealer, obviously, I'm still using the Maybelline Age Rewind in the light shade. So to set my face with the concealer and foundation, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. For my eyes, I decided to use the Disney Designer from ColourPop because it has these really pretty like um, light shades right here, which I think work perfectly for um, for the colors that they usually use. So I'm going to mainly touch base with these, but like I said, you guys, I'm doing a very, very, very light makeup. I'm not going glamorous or anything like that because when you look at their pictures, all they do is mostly have like a light pink peachy coral eyeshadow and they hardly wear um, eyeliner they like they and if they do wear eyeliner it's very very minimalistic same thing with eyelashes it's very minimalistic too let's go ahead and zoom in and then we'll get started on the eyes hello <laughs> 
So let's go ahead and um, do my eyebrows real quick. I just got them waxed thanks to one of my dear friends. She knows who she is. Thank you so much for doing my eyebrows. You're awesome. You're an MVP. I'm using, as always, my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the shade Granite. I'm going to go in with the shade Triton, which is right over here, and I'm going to put this into my crease. Ooh, wait, I didn't even put on, ooh, 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 I didn't even put on primer. What am I doing, me? What am I doing? Bad me. Like, my pregnancy brain plus being sick is like, ugh. It's making me make poor choices in life, I swear. Okay, now we're ready to put on the shade Triton onto my eyelid. Oh my lord, I cannot believe I almost did that. Bad knee, bad knee. So to soften out the top part of the crease, I'm going to use the shade um, Chip right over here, and I'm just going to use it to soften up the look. I'm going to grab the color um, right here, which is Fairy Godmother. I'm going to put this in my eyelid. Just to kind of give it a little bit more of a wow factor, but not too much. What I'm going to do is grab Prince Charming, which is this one right here. I'm going to use my pinky. It's a clean pinky, no pigment on it whatsoever. I'm not spraying it on, but I'm going to put it on the center of my lid. To kind of just give it a little bit of a pop but not too heavy, see, it's like, just like that. I'm grabbing my um, JS11 brush, and I'm gonna go in with Triton once more, and I'm just putting the pigment on the tip of the brush, just like that, and I'm gonna put it a little bit under my eye. For eyeliner, I'm going to use my Urban Decay, um, my Urban Decay eyeliner in the shade Demolition. This is my, my Maybelline Master Precise eyeliner, but this is actually a, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's actually a very dark brown, um, like, it's close to black, but it's actually really brown, so I'm going to use that as my eyeliner. I kid you not, guys, like, I can, like, I know you guys are probably thinking, like, this is black. It's actually really not. It's actually a deep brown, like I said. It's very close to black, but it's deep brown. Oh, wait, you can kind of see it in my hair difference. Kind of, sort of. Okay. I promise you guys, this is a brown. No, even it says right here, prove you, to prove it, it says forest brown right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says forest brown right there. So that is me being honest with you guys, that it is brown, if you guys don't believe me. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the clear eye. So let's go ahead and put on some of my mascara. You guys already know what it is. In case you don't, this is the Benefits Roller Lash. So I had to zoom out a little bit. These are my little black dress um, eyelashes from Kiss. These are the ones that I consider natural. And my eyes, oops, I ripped the box. Oh, since I don't celebrate Chinese New Year's, 
to those who do, do you guys have any like traditions that you guys usually do, like a family tradition that you guys usually how they mass for a Chinese New Year? And then you guys also, um, what was it? You guys also do the red envelopes because, um, I believe because I because I would assume the church and the red envelopes that's already something that's uh. Um, what's the word? It's traditional, but it's also the typical, um, the typical kind of tradition. Like, I'm, at, I'm wondering if it's, like, something, if there's one that you guys actually do, like, exclusively in your family. So, I'm just kind of curious, do you guys have something like that where you guys, like, always cook, like, a certain food? Or if you guys, like, um, do a celebration like if you guys have like a special party or anything like that like let me know in the comments below because I'm kind of curious to see if um if there's anything special or like well Chinese New Year's is special but like what you guys do as a family let's go ahead and put on the blush and the highlighter this is actually like really really clean creamy almost like creamy <laughs> So this is actually really creamy, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my clean finger and apply it. Just doing like a patting motion. Oh, that's pigmented. It's really pigmented. I was not expecting, oh my god, I was not expecting it to be that pigmented, but that's actually nice. Oh, and it's like, has some shimmer too. This would actually be fine without a highlighter, in my opinion. Like, it reminds me more of, like, a cheek stain. It was actually really, really cute. Mmm. Mmm. I wouldn't mind this being my new everyday blush, honestly. For the highlight, I'm going to actually put it on the areas when I smile, like this. I'm going to put it in the areas where you can see, like... The natural, like, highlighted look. And then I'm actually going to put the gold into my inner part of my eyes as well. Ooh. Hi, Pigment. How are you? You see that? I'm going to blend that out. Okay, so I'm going to put some in my inner corner. Ooh. It's actually really pretty. Let's go put some on my brow bone too. I was gonna put it on my cupid's bow, but I wanted to try the colors real quick so that I kind of know what they look like. There is this nice red. It's like a deep red shade. Then there is I don't know. In this camera, they all look red. But in the picture for ColourPop, they were different colors. These are what the colors look like on ColourPop, as you guys can see, but like one is more on a coral red side, one is more on the pinkish, and then one is definitely like on the red maroon side. So I'm going to actually like the one, the one that's calling me is the one that says on Cloud Dynasty, which is this corner one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and look for it. So it's this one. This is the one that says on Cloud Dynasty. I don't know if you guys can see that. So let's go ahead and put it on. I'm going to try doing what they did with the ombre look on the photo. Oh, that is darker than what I thought. What I did so far was I just put it on the inner part of my lips, like deeper inside, so I can use my finger. My So I'm going to use my clean finger to brush it out. Hmm. It looks red. Definitely doesn't scream the color that I was expecting it to be, but let me try putting foundation on my lips to see if it'll look different. My natural lip color is a little bit on the pinker side, so that might be why as well, but I'm going to go see if, um, if I put on foundation all over my lips, so it won't look as red. But I will say, the formula is actually really nice. It wasn't like the other lip colors from color, lipstick colors from ColourPop. It was actually, um, it was actually lightweight. Um, it actually also felt very, uh, 
what is the word? It had a moisturizing feel when I put it on. It was kind of like as if like, I don't know, what is this formulated with? Because now I'm curious. Because like literally when I put it on, I was like thinking in my head, I'm like, this is actually really soft. So a luxe liquid lip is a plush velvet liquid lipstick with medium buildable coverage that creates a soft diffused look. Features are innovative whip formula that contains a blend of antioxidant rich ingredients like pomegranate, goji fruit, and grapeseed extract to nourish lips. Aha. That's why. I hate putting foundation on my lips. Ew. Oh, I hate the feeling of foundation on my lips. Okay, so I'm going back on, I'm going back with um, Cloud Dynasty again, and let us go ahead and see if that will help it. Like, like you know, see if like the color is actually going to be different. It still looks red to me. I'm not hating on the formula at all because the formula is actually really, really nice. I like how it feels on my lips and everything, but the colors, they look so similar. Like, look at that. Here, let me hold it like this so you guys can see. Like, this is the one that I wanted to try because it looked different on the picture. This is the Cloud Dynasty one right here, and this is how it looks like on my lips. It kind of just seems a little bit more red to me than where on this picture it looked more coral. So, I mean, it's pretty. I will say that. It's really pretty. This one kind of seems lighter. So I'm going to try this one. So let us go ahead and try. It's a banger. Which one, which is supposed to be, which seems like it's the lightest shade compared to the other ones. So let's see how that one is. Oh, this one actually might be what I'm looking for. That is better. Okay, this looks so much better. I definitely prefer this one over the other one then. But I think this one might be a win. But for the heck of it, let's go ahead and put on the other one, which is the Take a Bow which I love because they spelled it as bow, like the cute little dumpling bow, like B-A-O bow. That is so freaking cute. <laughs> okay, so let's, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the one that's called It's a Banger, and then let's go ahead and put on the other color. It's not bad. But I definitely do think I like the It's a Banger more. So if I were to rate this, though, because, like, I don't, like, I like I said, you guys, like, the colors right now, they kind of looked a little bit on the similar side at first. But then when you put them on, they kind of do seem different. But, you know, like, if I look at Take a Bow right now, which is this one and this one right here, this is Take a Bow. It looks more red than, but then when I slipped on on a Cloud Dynasty, that one looked hella red. Like, so the pigments are definitely different on there, but I personally really do like It's a Banger the most. I think that one was really, really pretty. Like, I definitely do like the Lux formula. Like, it's really nice. Like, I really do enjoy it. Like, my lips feel pretty, like, soft. It's moistured. Um, I'm not hating it. Like, I'm really not. Overall, I think this collection was really, really cute. I think the only thing I do wish, though, is that they did do, like, a cute little small palette of colors for Year of the Rat. But, I mean, I get it. ColourPop has so many eyeshadow palettes that could easily be used for um this makeup look like I can think of a few and even that one new palette that came out that blush one that one would definitely work for um the goal of like getting into like this very simple like eyeshadow makeup look I definitely do like 
the white tea face milk. I'm definitely going to be using this to see how um, it does for my skin. As for the duos, I definitely do love them. They are very cute. As for the lipsticks, I'm definitely going to be wearing... Um, it's a banger. On my Instagram, I'm going to tell you guys how the wear is for this. It's pretty dry right now, the lipstick. So let's try to, let's kiss my hand and see what happens. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so it's a little bit. Not too much. But... I kind of like kissed really really hard for that one. As of right now, I believe I saw that it was on sale because of Colourpop's 9 million follower 25% off sale that's going on right now. So its original price is $48. Right now it's retailing for $36. Um, so if you guys want it, I would say go get it right now. Okay you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you could please give it a thumbs up and give it a share yeah give it a share and then um also go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you guys can see me on future videos i am going to be branching out into more than just makeup in the future i have always said that i don't want my youtube to be just makeup related even though i've been doing a lot of makeup videos so far but um yeah, in the near future, I'm trying to make it where I'm doing more than just makeup videos. Just go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell icon if you guys want to, so that you can see more videos in the future and everything. All my social media will be linked down below. I hope you guys have a great New Year's and you guys take care of yourselves. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much again. I hope to see you guys in the next video. You guys take care of yourselves. Bye. Love you guys.